Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. We're here at New England Grows. We're on the trade show floor. And you know, you're walking around, you pick up a great new organic product. But if you really want to stay ahead of the competition, it's all those wonderful talks that New England Grows offers that you want to attend. Like Brad Roller of the Kerry Institute of Ecosystem Studies. What's the buzz that you're trying to get across to folks? My goal here today is to have the large audience that New England Grows always attracts and just get them to be aware of the alternatives. Their customer base is demanding more organically oriented ways of dealing with their landscapes. And some of these have a long way to go. They're not a panacea. How can organics help keep these landscape professionals competitive? There's too many unanswered questions about pesticide use. These professionals really have to educate their customer base on expectations and costs and everything else that are associated with organics. We're starting to see that if you aphids and adelgids and black vine weevils and white flies and all these are very easy to control with these minimum risk or reduced risk pesticides. The spinosads, the uh, products like Conserve and Fluoramite are two that really uh, are showing good promise in tests that not only have I've done, but uh, folks in land grant colleges have done. I've had no luck with any biopesticides or reduced risk pesticides in dealing with bronze birch borer. When relying on biologicals, especially biofungicides, it's best to employ a preventive strategy. You do not wait until the damage thresholds have been reached. I've been working with compost tea for years. I learned a lot of lessons and spent a lot of money trying to get uh, recipes for teas. There's no one size fits all. If you're managing turf, you want uh, more of a bacterial dominated tea, whereas if you're managing woody plants or woody landscapes, uh, you might need a, a more fungal dominated. I have seen after a few years, landscapes employing compost tea programs or compost in general will require less water, have fewer cultural problems, and be able to withstand environmental and biological stresses better than landscapes maintained with inorganic fertilizers and chemical pesticides. However, insofar as disease and pest control, it has a long ways to go. From the trade show floor to the seminars, it's all here at New England Grows.